believe that when we redeem the time, what we are doing, according to the Greek, the word redeem means to buy up completely. When you get up early and pray, you actually buy that day out so that that day is full of victory. The word redeem in the Greek also means to rescue from loss. When you get up early and pray, even pray at night, what will happen is that you will position that day that you're going to step into, you will position it from victory. You will redeem it from loss. You'll never have wasted days. You'll never have unproductive days, but you will have days of victory where you accomplish the things that God has assigned you to do. Praise the Lord. I really believe that the Apostle Paul was a man that wasn't sleeping for nine or 10 or 11 hours each night. But I believe that his, his sleep structure was different. It wouldn't surprise me if he only slept three or four hours and then he's right back to doing the things that God had assigned him to do. And I think most importantly, he was praying, praying for the churches, praying for his spiritual sons and just lifting up all of the needs before the Lord. He had a heavy prayer plate. He had much to pray about. He reminds me in many ways of of a more, a more recent man who was named St. John Vianney, and he was a parish priest in France. And this man just, he was so busy serving the Lord that sometimes he would be hearing confessions 16, even 18 hours a day, and, you know, he'd go home and sleep only for about three hours and then go right back in the prayer, go right back in the ministry to people. And the only thing they said he lived off of was just a couple of potatoes a day. And so he was just serving the Lord, living for the Lord. And people would stand back and those who knew him, they would even say, how does he have so much energy? How does he survive on such little food and such little sleep? I believe he was doing the same thing that the Apostle Paul was doing. When you tie more strongly into the Lord, when you are really tied into that vine, that life that's in that vine, the life of the Lord flows out into the branches. I believe it affects, of course, your spiritual life, but I believe it affects your mind, the way you think. I believe it even touches your body. And you really, you don't need as much sleep as you think you do. Praise the Lord. So these are things that we are exploring. These are things that we are tapping into by praying and not just praying, but praying particularly at nighttime, early in the morning while it's still dark outside. Glory to God. There is something so special as you begin to do this, as you get up early before the sun ever comes over the horizon. And as you're up seeking the Lord in prayer, there is something that is a key validation that can be a good reward that what you're doing is actually working. After all, one of the greatest motivators in life, one of the greatest rewards is that when you see something is working, you think, I'm going to keep on doing it. If you're trying a certain exercise program or a certain diet and you're like, hey, I'm, I'm really responding well to this, what is that? That is a great motivator. In other words, if it's working, and you see viable results, you're like, well, that makes me just want to keep on going. I'm going to keep on doing this. I might even increase it, okay? Now, it's the same thing. If you'll get up early and pray before you ever go into the day and you spend that time with the Lord, what will happen is that you will very quickly notice, and this doesn't take months or years. This can happen in just days. If you will put great time with the Lord before you ever start your day. Now, you go into that day, and you feel, you sense, I, I want to be careful with the word feel, but you will sense the presence of God. And what the presence of God will do is that it helps govern the way you talk. 